keep getting asked, how do you prepare for this? You don't. Our hearts are going out to, to those that have been victimized by a, a murderer, and uh, we're going to do all we can in this community to come together. This is not about El Paso. This individual was from outside of El Paso, which is some someone, no one in El Paso would have ever done something like this. Our community is going to be close and drawn closer together. And right now we're going to have to get ready mentally for 20 funerals. And that's what we're going to have to do as a community and the city will do whatever they can. I cannot stop, think about it. The call went out at 1039. The police were there at 1045, six minutes. At 1106, he was apprehended. You can't do that without a properly trained professional police force. And that is why we've been we're one of the safest cities in the nation for so many years. We're gonna do the best we can to come together. Our hearts are torn and we're going to pray and work together for this community. Mayor, how do you get our city ready for 20 funerals? I don't know. We've never done this before. I would hope and pray we'd never have to do it again, but we'll do it and we're gonna survive because that's who we are mm -hmm. and that's what we're about. That's what we're about. That's what the week will lie ahead for us, 20 funerals, uh, hopefully not more than that. It is going to be uh, a tough road to hoe here in El Paso for the next week as we get through the hard part and through uh, the years for a day that we will absolutely never, ever forget. Robert and Erica. Shelton, thank you for that. You know, Shelton mentions uh, the, the toll it takes on the community. And then of course, uh, you know, us as reporters as well, I can tell you that I covered the Virginia Tech mass shooting in, in 2007. Um, I was sent to Virginia Tech. I was working in Los Angeles at the time, so I was sent out to Virginia Tech, and that is where 32 people were shot and killed. Then I covered the Isla Vista killings in Santa Barbara, and that was in 2014. And when you're covering these kinds of events, as you well know, there's a, a certain sense of detachment that's happening. You, you certainly grieve and feel for, for what is unfolding before you but you know as a reporter as a journalist you're trying to put this into a, a, an area where you can report on it accurately and and um, and um, in this instance for this happening here and for us you know what's going to happen is we're all going to know someone absolutely we are and this is this is home and that's that is that is what is so difficult about today among you know, so many of the other factors that we've talked about, the fact that you know that we're going to be mourning 20 lives, and as Shelton mentioned, hopefully not more than that, and you know there will be connections, and just trying to imagine the pain that those families are feeling tonight is, is uh, it's, I don't know, I, I've never it's, experienced It's unimaginable, like and yeah. you're right. We, we are going to walk through this together because we are going to know um, people, all of us are going to know people who were wounded or lost their lives in this tragic incident. We're going to be mourning for a long time, trying to put the pieces back together, trying to um, uh, find justice, forgiveness, answers. All of these yeah. things uh, don't happen overnight. So um, 